Hey guys, it's Casey with Small Business Millions. Today's December 28th, uh, 2015. We're almost done with the year. Uh, so I want to get a couple videos for you guys up before 2016. And I promise you guys in 2016 I'm going to get all the videos, screenshots, and samples, and highlights up on all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Instagram. Uh, I was a little bit of a slacker on that last year, but you guys still followed us and still checked everything out, so I really appreciate that. Uh, and everything will be down in the bottom of the box, uh, all the uh, links to all the social media and the website. And if you guys have any questions or comments or anything for us, it'll be down there in my email as well. And you can email me directly, message, comment, whatever you need to do. So let's jump into today's video. Today's video is about uh, annual resale tax certificates. Um, I'm going to cover two things. I'm going to cover one, how you get a resale tax certificate and how you use it to buy all of your merchandise tax free. Uh, and I'm going to second, uh, cover how to properly pay your sales, in-state sales uh, taxes so you don't get in trouble. Um, so what is a resale tax certificate? That's a great question. So basically a resale tax certificate allows you as a reseller to buy a piece of merchandise from another reseller tax-free. So you know how when you walk into uh, Best Buy and you buy an iPad for $300, they charge you tax. You're going to pay $320 for the item. Well, what's great is with a tax certificate, if you go into a place of business and you present this a copy of your sales tax certificate, you sign it, you date it, and you give it to them, you get to buy that item for $300. You don't have to pay the tax. Sales tax is only meant for customers that are buying an item to use it. So if you're going to buy that iPad to personally take home and use and play and watch Netflix on, no can do. Don't sales tax certificate. You will get in trouble. Only use it if you're going to resale the item, which should be most of the stuff you're buying. I use it every time I go into pawn shops. They put me on file. I give them a copy of it. I buy my merchandise. It's tax free every time. Now, What's great about that is, is you go down to the sales tax certificate, you present them with your business and your tax ID, and they give you this. It costs $5 here in Florida. I'm sure it's different in every state, but it's 5 bucks for the year, and you basically just make a bunch of copies of this when you get home, take it out with you, and if you can see here, I've just used a sample off Google. This is a 2013 annual resale for some company named Friends of Greyhounds. It'll have your business name. It'll have your address. It will have your sales tax certificate number. And so when you bring this into a business and you present it, they can check all that out, check your ID, make sure it all matches up. You will sign it, date it, and put the name of the place that you're at with your signature and date, and they'll give it to you tax-free. That's pretty much how it works. Get to buy all your stuff tax-free. It adds up. Trust me, guys. Here in Florida, it's 7% where I am. Every $100 I spend, I save $7. So every $1,000 I spend, I save 70 bucks. I spend tens of thousands of dollars a month, which means I'm saving you know, $700, $800, $900,000 a month in sales tax. It's awesome. Now, what's the downside to sales tax? Well, the downside means as soon as you go and file to get this certificate, the state is going to send you a sales tax collection uh, packet. And basically what that is, is every time you sell an item in your state to a customer in your state, you have to collect sales tax and you have to pay the state that sales tax. So if you sell it on eBay or Amazon and you ship it to another state, it doesn't matter. But if it ships to Florida or to whatever state you are in, you are responsible for paying the state the percent of sales tax that matches. In my state, again, it's 7%. So if somebody logs in from Miami, they buy a $100 iPad from me, I owe the state $7 out of that sale. Now eBay and Amazon have a way that you can set up to charge those customers sales tax. Now. Some customers, as soon as they see that pop up, will back out and go buy from somebody else because they don't want to pay the sales tax. Let's say that you had it for 100 and another guy had it for 103 Well, they bought from you because it's cheaper, but then once the sales tax comes on, it's not cheaper. The other guy's in Colorado, bang. Usually it doesn't matter, but it can happen. So some people like to set that up because then the money comes in. Some people don't. If for any reason you don't set that up and a customer only pays you the $100, you better keep track of it and you better transfer that money, that $7 or whatever it is, into another bank account or whatever's easier for you to keep track of it so you don't spend it. Because every quarter or every half year, every year, however your state collects it, you have to write a check to your state for the total amount of those sales tax. Now again, it's exempt if it goes out of state. There are also some uh, random items that are exempt. Like here in Florida, vending machines are exempt from sales tax for some reason. The sales inside of them. Uh, anything somebody sells, you know, like a dollar candy bar. But uh, pretty much everything you sell in your state 
you're liable for that sales tax. So you better keep track of it. Don't miss a payment. Don't be late. They fine you here in Florida if you're one day late. So don't be late. Make sure you pay those sales taxes. Um, now, some people skirt the issue and they say, well, why go get a sales tax certificate if all the money I'm saving on the sales tax, I'm just sending to the state to pay somebody else's sales tax. Why bother for it? Why even go in and get it and let them know? Well, let's say I go in and I get a sales tax certificate and I get to save $1,000 all month. So I've saved myself a grand. Well, all those people that bought from me in my state, it's usually only 10, 15%, because you got to remember, it's one out of 50 states. So you got a pretty good chance that most of your stuff's going to ship out of your state. Now, if you live in New York, Florida, or, or California, a lot of stuff's going to ship to those states, which you're still going to end up on the upside, because even if half of your merchandise ships to your state, you're only paying half of the sales tax you would have paid when you bought the item originally. So... It works out better for you, trust me. And it keeps you above the law. Even if you don't go file for a sales tax certificate and you try to get away with not having to pay it, the state's going to find out. Amazon and eBay are really good about reporting to the county, the state, and the federal government what sales you made, where they made them, how much you should have paid. And if you get audited, you'll get caught. Don't chance it, guys. Don't go to jail. Don't get back taxes and fines. Just pay the sales tax and get your free sales tax when you make your purchases. It's as easy as that, guys. Um, every state, I'm sure if you Google it, you will find where your tax, uh, sales tax office is where you can go in and file for this. Uh, a lot of states you can do it online. Here in Florida, I can download my new one and pay my $5 right online. They'll mail me a new certificate every year uh, or I can download it. So it's really, really easy. Um, and that's pretty much how, you know, how sales tax works. It's really good and it's good to get in the habit of paying those sales taxes. It's good to get in the habit of keeping your original sales tax with you. Some places don't like copies too much even though right on it, it says a used signed photocopy for resale purposes, they're supposed to take it. But if they ever give me a hard time, I present them with the real one that has the Florida State seal on it on the back. Uh, I'm sure every state probably does that. So uh, you don't have to keep the real one with you, but it's a good idea. But make sure you keep a ton of copies on you. As soon as you get that thing home, run off like 100 copies, put five or 10 in the car, five or 10 in the glove box, and then everywhere you go, bang, bust that thing out, free, free purchases, no sales tax. So uh, that's pretty much it. Questions, comments, or any concerns, you guys know where to email me, smallbusinessmillions at gmail.com. You can leave a comment or a message below on YouTube um, or any of the social medias as well if you drop by uh, our Facebook, our Twitter, or Instagram. I check all those daily. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to make sure in 2016 my New Year's resolution is to post all these videos across all the platforms and some screenshots on uh, Instagram and video highlight, 15-second highlights on Instagram as well. I thank you guys again for all your support in 2015. Look forward to getting you guys some great videos out for 2016. I will get a few more out before the end of this year. Today's the 28th, so i got a few days to get a few up. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for checking it out. Check out our other videos, and we'll catch you later, guys.